As the heat gets hotter, Pantami confesses, I can't sleep at night anymore these days. Minister of Com Communication, Pantami, reveals. Hello, my wonderful people. We are all aware of um, the Minister of Pantami, the whole saga, his true personality and who he really is coming out to the open. His involvement with deadly groups like the Al-Qaeda, ISIS and the rest of them and what he feels about other people who do not share the same school of thought or do not belong to the same religion as he. He said he's very happy if any of them, anything happens to them. So, I mean, these are the kind of people we have in leadership of Nigeria. Hence, the country is where it is today. Anyway, Nigerians has been calling for a while now for his resignation and the minister, uh, including Buhari, has told Nigerians that there is no such thing. Now he's telling Nigerians that he can't sleep because there is God who looks after their own. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you so much. I can't sleep at night anymore. Minister of Communication, Isiak Pantami, reveals. The Minister of Communication and Digital Economy, Isiak Pantami, has revealed that he can no longer sleep at night. In recent times, he made this rather shocking revelation during his Ramadan Tafet prayer at the mosque in Abuja. The minister was in such a lamentation tune stating that the problems Nigerians is currently facing are making him not to get sleep at night. He said the country is currently facing social security economic problem. Nigerians particularly are in serious problem. The country, everyone, everything is going so wrong and I don't know why. The minister urged Nigerian citizens to become better in conduct stating that the country can only improve when everyone connects with his connect and reject wrongdoing everyone needs to correct their ways and amend their parts like he is doing currently he said that he should people should take it seriously to walk nigeria from the bottom to the top population and the type of government officials we appoint pentami equally impel all Nigerians, regardless of your faith, one belongs to pray for the peace and stability of the country. The minister has been under serious criticisms in recent time following the rumors of his connection with terrorist groups such as Boko Haram. However, in his defense, the presidency has made it clear that the accusations are fundamental, unfundamental, and that the only reason why he was dead, why he spoke then was because he was young. Now he said he has amended his ways and that was in his youthful days. So this is what is going on. Isia Pantami has told Nigerians that he is quite very unrest. He's not happy with the way things are. He's not happy with himself. He said Nigerians, everybody needs to get on board and um, change the course of what is currently on ground. He said this today that he's very distraught. He's um, not himself. He has not been able to sleep. Uh, reason stemming from the fact that um, the way the country is currently, the current predicaments are giving him sleepless nights. Because, you know, Nigerians has been calling recently that he needs to resign. However, the presidency has not seen the need for it. To the extent that Muhammad Buhari showed himself and Isiak Pantami praying together, but yet they go to the east, and as we are speaking, they are still combing the east for young men and women to put their life to an end. Why? All they are saying is we want to protect our borders, we want to protect our sons and daughters, we want to protect our own. We don't want our land to be invaded by Fulanese. That is their crime. It is a shame that the government, the army, the soldiers are not going after the people who are causing this unrest in the area. Rather, they are going after the people who are protecting their area, who are protecting lives and property. It's really a shame because one cannot begin to understand how these things work in Nigeria. It tells you that there is oppression and some people's hearts, you know, are ready to oppress and carry out their own ways. Isia Pantami is a known uh, jihadist guy, yet he's working free. Is he the only one? What about Gumi and the rest of them? Yet they go scot-free and people who should not 
be you know held unnecessarily for defending their father's land are the ones you know being held by nigerian government and tagged you know as evildoers and wrongdoers and nigerian army at all costs want to end their life we cannot continue like that that's why people want out of nigeria that's why there is so much call for sectioning you see as we speak uh, our very own brother, Sunday Boho, is not in the country, yet they've organized some people in Ikiti State to say that, you know, Sunday Boho is not wanted, they want one Nigeria. You can tell that these are government officials, the likes of Kayode. It's the same Kayode during the NSAS. It's the same his state that a video revealed then that, you know, they saw these guys come out of government vehicle, they started the whole peaceful, uh, you know, uh, answers then, and they got into the vehicle and, and, you know, the vehicle zoomed away. These are the kind of people we have as leaders, clear cutting, you know, indications that they are sabotagers. They don't want good for the country. They don't want the youth to have a voice. And these are leaders. These are leaders. You know, this is the shame. This is the current shame Nigeria is experiencing. People who call themselves leaders and really truly are the sabotagers of the country. These are the people who are causing the country to bleed, you know, because of their selfishness, because of what they want, irrespective of what others want. They impose themselves on the nation, they impose themselves on Nigerians, and do not care what happens to anybody. You see, these are the kind of people who are in leadership today. And Nigerians, we can do ourselves some good by speaking out not staying on the sideline and pretending like all is well. No, no way. It's not going to work that way. We raise up our voices and we let the nations of the world know what is going on. Take, for instance, see what um, Pastor Paul Adeferat, if you've not watched that news, please go on Apple Line Media. It's a video. Watch it for yourself. What Pastor Paul Adeferati said and how it has gone viral, how the United Nations, you know, how the United Nations and, you know, nations of the world are already responding to Nigeria, saying that that very constitution has to be destroyed. The constitution of Nigeria is fraud you know, put together by some soldiers who just came in and began to do some things. Thank God Pastor Paul spoke. It has gone viral. And, you know, nations of the world are responding and are asking, why are things like that? So, I mean, things are happening if you and I speak. That's why we cannot be quiet. You have opportunity to make your voice to be heard. Please do that. God bless you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can always get all our latest news. We sincerely appreciate you. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.